Hey there stampers and welcome to Simple Card Sunday. Today I have a really super simple Christmas card for you um, and it uses the new Wonders Wreath set out of the holiday catalog which I think is my absolute most favorite stamp set out of the catalog this time around so stay tuned because there'll be a lot more of cards with this stamp set on my blog in the next little while. So to get started we need some supplies. So we're going to need a piece of old olive cardstock and the old olive cardstock measures five and a half by eight and a half. Real red cardstock which measures three and seven eighths by five and one eighth and whisper white cardstock which measures three and three quarters by five. So step one is to fold your old olive cardstock in half which I will do right now. And then we're just going to set that aside because we don't actually need it until we're done some stamping. So I'm going to pull in the Whisper White cardstock and I'm going to pull in my stamp. Now the Wonders Wreath stamp set is one of our photopolymer stamp sets, which is fantastic um, because it's super easy to line up those leaves on the wreath. I just want to draw your attention to this little tab at the top of the stamp here. Um, all three of the wreath stamps in this set, as well as the two framelits that will cut out the wreath with this set, have this little tab. Um, and so as long as you're lining up the tab, um, they'll all line up together. Brilliant. Whichever employee at Stampin' Up! thought of this was absolutely brilliant. So just make sure when you're using this stamp that the tab is always to the top or the bottom or the side, and then same thing with the framelits, and then it will always line up. So to get started, we're going to use some Pear Pizzazz ink. So we'll get that out and ready and ink up the stamp. I have noticed in the catalog that Stampin' Up! is doing a lot more of our two-step stamping stamp sets um, in photopolymer, which I think is absolutely fantastic because it makes them so easy. Hmm, drop the stamp. Let's flip that over. Uh, makes it so easy to line them up. So I'm going to do right up the top here and stamp that down like so. Okay, and you can see I've got my wreath image there. Now I am going to peel my stamp off of my block and bring in the next image from the wreath. Um, there we go. And we'll just put that right on the block like so. Let's close pear pizzazz because now we're going to need old olive. Okay, so we'll open that up and ink that all up nicely. I love watching the ink go on the stamps with these pair or these uh, photopolymer stamps. So I'm going to put my tab at the top just like I did before and stamp it down. The beautiful thing about this is if you're a little bit off, it's okay because it just looks like the wreath is a little more full. So I'm going to set aside the old olive ink for a bit and I am going to put on the berry image for the wreath. Okay. So this will be easy for you to see because it's stained with red already, my new stamps. That's how much I love them. I've used it a lot already. Okay, and we're going to stamp those with real red. All right, so again, ink that up and tab to the top and stamp it down. Okay, so I've done my two leaf images and my berry image. So my wreath is done for my card. I'm gonna close my real red ink. Okay, and then I'm gonna bring in my sentiment. There's two sentiments in the Wonders Wreath set. Um, and both of them are great. Like I said, this is just a fantastic stamp set. You're going to be seeing a lot of it on my blog if you're a regular follower. Okay, so the one I'm going to choose for today is Happy Wonderful Christmas. Now I'm going to keep this card pretty simple because it's Simple Card Sunday. There's obviously a lot of ways that you could ja uh, jazz up this wreath with some rhinestones and all kinds of fun stuff, but we're going to keep it really simple. Um, so I'm, I brought back my old olive ink and that's what I'm going to use to stamp my sentiment. Okay, and it's just going to go right down here at the bottom, like so. Alright, so stamping is done for this card. Um, what I am going to do now is stick it together. So, I'm going to bring back my real red piece, and let's get some adhesive, and let's stick the white onto the red. Okay, so just a nice 
the tiny little mat of the red. I think it really brings out the red berries in the card. And then I'm going to bring back my folded piece of old olive. And I have some Stampin' Dimensionals here. So I'm going to pop this on my card with some dimensionals. Like so. Alright, and remember the trick for dimensionals. If you stick your thumbnail in the middle, it kind of releases them and they, the backing comes off just a little bit easier. So pull the backing off all five of these dimensionals. And then we'll stick that on our card front. Make sure that goes the right way. Okay. So there we go. So we have a beautiful little card right there like that. But I couldn't resist, even though it's Simple Card Sunday, adding just a little bit of ribbon on. So I'm going to show you a quick little trick for making a ribbon bow. I'm going to make two little loops. Okay, and the one in my left hand, I'm going to cross over the one in my right hand. So I end up with something that looks like this. Tuck this top loop down under so it's going to go through here and as I'm pulling it I'm going to let the tail go that way and that just will ensure that my tails are going the right way when I'm done. Okay so I'm going to just make it just a touch smaller to tighten up your knot just pull on the loops. All right and that can go on my card like so. I'm just going to grab my glue dots and stick that on. All right. So, oh, the glue dot stayed. Okay, grab my glue dots, stick it on. I'm going to pull up my scissors here real quick and trim my tails because they're a little crazy right now. One and two. And there you have it. Simple card done for Simple Card Sunday. So make sure you go visit my blog so that you can see the other card that I've done with a main focal image and then a little um, sentiment at the bottom. Lots of fun today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this card layout and this card. And let me tell you, trust me, you're going to want this stamp set on August 28th when the holiday catalog goes live. Have an inspired day, stampers.